Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're cooking up gator balls. We're going to do them in some cast iron on an open fire. So y'all stay tuned. <music> So today's cook is going to combine two fresh ingredients that are both in season right now here in the great state of Florida. That's going to be alligator and great bay scallops. We're going to use a recipe for alligator balls that the basis I found for this recipe for, uh, is from a website called CajunCookingRecipes.com. It's going to have the basis for this uh, stuffing. So we're going to use that stuffing, A, to make uh, the gator balls like the recipe does, but we're going to add the scallops. And we're also going to do some stuffed portachini mushroom caps with that same, same uh, mixture. And we're going to have those as an, a great appetizer. All right, so the first uh, process we're going to do here, we already have our filleted out gator tail. I've actually taken about half a pound of this. And I put it in my food processor and uh, whacked it up real good. Now it won't completely grind it. You know, it's got a lot of sinews, stuff like that, that uh, connects it all. So, you know, for this recipe, you're gonna want it not ground, although you could ground it, grind it. Um, I was in the food processor, or you could just use your cleaver like I'm doing right here and just keep uh, cutting it, you know, both ways. And to make this whole process easier, I put that in the freezer for a little while to really firm it up and get it like almost like partially frozen, which is going to make this whole process of chopping it way, way easier. You know, it's very um, delicate inside, but you know, those membranes on the outside can make it tough to just do it, you know, if it's not really cold. So this partial freezing process is going to help that out big time and, you know, it doesn't take hardly any time to go through it once it's got that almost frozen texture to it. We want it in very uh, manageable size pieces because we are making like a ball, you know, like balls with it. So once it looks about like that, then put that right back over in our pan we'll get that right back in the fridge here's our base scallops we've got them super chilled also just to make them easier to chop that's a half a pound of, of uh, these are like Gulf Coast base scallops and they're very tender they're easy to chop but we want them in smaller pieces we don't want like whole scallops in our fish balls so I'm just gonna go through those real quick and give them a, a dice and they're very cold also I'm gonna get them down to uh, manageable size pieces so they will work in this recipe and man those smell awesome so the hard part is getting all these uh, ingredients ready the easy parts you know, we're just gonna put them all in the bowl right now Dump them all in one at a time. Parsley, green onions, shallot, celery. And feel free to modify these because I have from the original recipe. That's that uh, Parmesan cheese. That, not in the original recipe. Uh, we're going in with that. Neither is the, uh, the grated fresh ginger. Like a little, get a little kick to that. Or the uh, lemon zest that they call for lemon pepper seasoning. I want us to try to stay uh, more natural there. Um, I'll take this, this is, uh, fresh ground black pepper. Take about a teaspoon of that to begin with, and then we'll test it. So I'm just gonna mix those ingredients together, and then we'll go ahead and get our gator and our scallops in right now. All right, so coming in with our chopped scallops. It's a half a pound chopped bay scallops. These are Florida Gulf Coast wild caught scallops. And then we have our chopped gator meat. That's also a half pound. Bring that over in there. And then we're just going to toss that together real quick. 
And as soon as you get your, your veggies combined with it, then we're gonna come in with our seasoning. That's a Seminole Swamp, Fire in the Swamp, one of our favorites here lately. Uh, use yours. If you'd like to try the Seminole Swamp seasoning, you can uh, find a link right there in the description box where you can buy that online. They, uh, they don't pay me to push this, but uh, lately they have stepped up and started supplying it for us. At least we don't have to go buy it anymore. Uh, so we got a big chunk in there is kind of frozen. We'll find him. Take that out, put it back over there. So it's going to combine that really well. And then we're going to start bringing in our bread crumbs. And I think we may have forgot one ingredient. I think that's an egg. Nest box. Let's go and see if we got any eggs. Oh, yeah. There you go. So let's go ahead and grab those up. One of them was setting a while ago, my late layer. She was setting, and, uh, and then I opened the door, and she got all distracted. And don't know if she'll lay or not. But hey, can't get no better than that. Fresh out of chicken. So we got our one fresh egg from right from the chickens there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Give it a quick folding in. And you know the the salt and the seasoning and all that's gonna bring out a little bit of moisture from the meat and the gator and the scallops. One thing we didn't put in yet, and I'm gonna go in a pinch black pepper. And I guess we did put a pinch in earlier. We're gonna put another pinch in now. And now the breadcrumbs. And the original recipe calls for a quarter of a cup. So we'll, this is a half cup container, so we'll start with half of them. It's not a lot of bread in this, guys. And you don't want it, you want it to be mostly meat. Bread and the egg are our binder, just to hold it all together. So we'll mix that in and see how it works out. You might have to set it aside, put it back in the fridge, let it wait a few minutes, just so all that moisture um, come out of the meat and soak into the bread and we'll see how it holds together but we'll test it right now real quick just with our hands feels a little soupy to me right now a little soupy so i'm gonna go ahead and put just a little more bread crumbs um, so that's about a third of a cup a little more bread crumbs we've actually been on a, a mostly no carb diet around here lately so we're trying to take it easy on the bread um, and you know if you're into that let me know down here if you'd like to see us do more low carb recipes which we've been doing quite a few lately if you just haven't been talking about it but if you'd like to see us do more low carb or no carb recipes um, drop us a comment Right down in the right down there in the comment section. So we'll let this hang out about one hour and it'll be time to cook. So those of you who have watched this channel before know that we do just about everything on cast iron. We always cook outside, never inside. But hey, if this is the first time you're watching our channel, first of all, I'd like to say welcome. We love you guys coming on. Uh, leave us a comment, let, let us know down below. We always try to respond to all the comments uh, that we can. Um, down in the comments section. So what are we gonna to use today for our cooking device? And today it's gonna to be the Lodge Combo Deep Skillet with the lid. Uh, I already have this one full of oil. All right, I'll open it up for you. We'll, we'll see that a little bit later. But this is uh, the Lodge 10 inch um, combo. It is a great, great deep frying pan. I love it for chicken or just about anything deep fried because that heavy, heavy lid seals that oil in so you could use it again the next day without any problems so that's going to be our weapon of choice for today's gator ball so real quick i'm going to show you how to prep your portachini mushroom caps here's the stem we're just going to grab it pop it out right there all right then you got these little fins inside i'm just going to take a tablespoon and i'm going to scrape them those little black fins right out from inside the cap and that's going to give us place to put our stuffing. We want to be careful with these; they're pretty fragile. But 
it's pretty easy also just pop it the caps are all clean we're gonna go ahead and marinate them real quick in moho marinade i'm just gonna pour it over the top kind of mix them up and i kind of want to be in the, the little wells of them all right and then we're gonna throw them in the fridge and we'll marinate for about 30 minutes uh, fried gator balls we're gonna do much like we do a lot here on the Backwoods Gourmet channel. We're gonna make our egg mayo wash. That's a heaping tablespoon of mayo and one fresh egg. Let's put those into a bowl and whisk together until it's nice and smooth. So here's how we're gonna make our gator balls. We're gonna get about a heaping tablespoon of our meat mixture just like this form it into a ball and it's, it's still a little wet at this point but you want to make sure you roll it really well and then we're going to take a roll it and dredge it in flour all right and that's going to help a lot okay then we're going to go into gently into our egg mayo wash and kind of give it a turn in there easily all right gentle with it and then back into flour toss it in our bowl try to keep them as round as possible and we'll put it right over here on our pan and then we're going to put them in the fridge we'll repeat that for about so we're going to use a similar process for the mushroom caps except this time we're going to add a little panko right to our flour mixture kind of give that a little toss so that's going to be like 50-50 uh, panko and flour here's one of our beautiful mushroom caps that's been marinating over there in that moho so we're just going to kind of round them off the top like that press it down in there good with your spoon all right this time we're not going to go in flour first we're going to go straight in the egg you might need to help it along a little bit with your spoon get it up out of there it gets kind of slippery in the egg we'll toss it over here in the bowl then we're just going to roll it around like that and that's going to help to round it out and make it beautiful just like that right there put it on our pan and we'll do all the rest of them exactly the same hey way. if you got a minute go ahead and check out the links right down below uh, in the first comment to our amazon store if you think about purchasing some cast irons dutch ovens we got a lot of stuff listed there for you let's go check it out if you don't see what you want just use the search bar you can buy anything on amazon So one of the things I hope you guys take away from this video is that running a cooking fire and running a campfire are totally two different things. So, you know, campfire, you could just burn it whatever, as big as you want. Cook a fire, you need to kind of control your heat throughout an entire cooking process. And that's what we're doing right now. You know, our gator balls are done 
And now it's time to put on our fry. So we're gonna, you know, crank that heat up a bit. We got, you know, we split some more little pieces of wood and stuck them up under there, get a little bit of flame going, get that uh, oil up to temp. Uh, suitable for cooking French fries. All right, so we got our old lodge pan going here. I got my cabbage and onions right here. Got a nice hot pan still going over that open fire. So we're just going to toss this real quick. We don't want to overcook this. We're going to give it a good sear and we're going to put on a lid on it and set it aside. We still want it to have a little crunch when we're done. Alright guys, we're going to start out with our appetizer with our uh, mushroom stuffed gator balls. I go right up here on the plate. This is a very widely available sauce. Uh, this is Maggie uh, Thai sweet chili sauce. It's awesome especially on fried foods. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put four of our mushroom caps stuffed with gator and scallops. Go ahead and put a couple of just uh, lime wedges on there. And we have some uh, the parsley that's actually in the mix too. Give it a little green. Just like that. There you go. <clears throat> that's our appetizer. Stuffed porcini mushrooms with alligator and scallop stuffing. You guys always want us to taste our food. Here's that stuffed mushroom with that Thai sweet chili sauce. Mm, let's give that a try. Wow. The taste of the gator and the scallop really come through there. Here's one of the gator balls. Here, yeah, try. Really, really awesome and sweet potato fry. Love those. And I'll tell you what, right now, you know, those stuffed mushroom caps with the gator and the scallop um, in it, that's off the chain right there.